गुड इवनिंग बडीज वेलकम टू माय पॉडकास्ट डब्ल्यू फाइव वाव वुमन विनिंग वंडरफुल वर्ल्ड टुडे वी विल बी ऑन अ साइंस जर्नी द वाव वुमन विच आई विल एक्सप्लोर टुडे वॉज इंट्रोड्यूस टू मी लॉन्ग बैक इन द इयर नाइनटीन वेन आई वॉज इन माय सेकेंड इयर इंजीनियरिंग बाय माय बिलव्ड प्रोफेसर इंजीनियर डॉक्टर सुनील कुटे ही इज ऑल्सो अ स्टॉलवर्ड पर्सनैलिटी आई हैव फ्यूचर प्लान्स ऑफ एक्सप्लोरिंग दीज पर्सनैलिटीज ऑल्सो एट दैट टाइम ही विल बी फर्स्ट इन माय लिस्ट बट इज I feel I am lucky always of being surrounded by such knowledgeable people who have always taught me lessons of life giving live examples of legends and thus he at that time when google was very new gave her example one day all we students were asked to submit introduction of topic for our project of last year engineering all students without taking efforts did surfing and bought whatever they got garbage or whatsoever some bought 40 pages some bought 100 and so on without studying at that time next day he asked us about our introduction and saw the introduction and then he said i asked you to just bring introduction but you people are very intelligent you bought your complete presentation and thesis in just two days whole class laughed banging benches but he was an awesome professor he knew how to divert the minds of the students so he said i am not joking kids do you know phd thesis submitted by one of the first female phd in science discipline was of how many pages everyone blank and he suddenly said just 40 surprisingly so quantity doesn't matter your content and quality matters this was the lesson he gave us here i am presenting the wow woman of today honorable mrs kamla sohni bhagwat the first female phd in science discipline dr kamla sohni Madam Kamla is daughter of Mr and Mrs Narayan Rao Bhagwat and wife of Shri M V Sohni. She was born in Indore MP in 1912. Kamla ma'am was very brilliant student and had great academic record. She did her schooling at the prestigious St Xavier's College and topped not only in one subject but in chemistry and physics examination from Bombay University and completed her BSc in 1933. Today's wow woman was struggling in Britishers rule on India. Why I am particularly emphasizing on this because I want to throw light on what a woman can do in spite of all odds if she has unbeatable will and desire. She finds her path. Because she says to God, "Unke saath jeene ka ek mauka to de ae khuda. Unke saath jeene ka ek mauka to de ae khuda. Aapke saath to hum marne ke baad bhi reh lenge." Kamla ma'am's father was alumni of IISC Bangalore. it was then known as tata institute of science her father sparked the ambition in kamla to pursue chemistry in higher education so kamla bhagwat then applied for research fellowship in iisc bangalore for which she was very confident that she will be admitted but but at that time shri c v raman the nobel prize winner in science was the director of iisc he rejected her application on the grounds what was the ground women are not competent to pursue research just see women are not competent to pursue research kamla ma'am strong follower of gandhi ji knew how to fight for injustice and thus she started satyagraha and was on a mission to continue till her queries and objections of being rejected were answered and justified by shri cv raman himself bulandiyo ko chune wale haar nahi mante apne iradon se parivartan nahi aate and thus as her intentions were pure and determined she demanded written ground for rejection from director in his handwriting and thus finally she was admitted under the guidance under the guidance of shri cv raman himself but this admission was on three conditions condition number 1 she will be on probation for one year condition number 2 she would have to work wherever and whenever her guide required irrespective of day and time Number three, she will not spoil environment of other researcher. How? By distracting two male students. It was like, जिंदगी से गुजारिश है इतनी थोड़ा रहम कर इस नादान पर. जिंदगी से गुजारिश है इतनी थोड़ा रहम कर इस नादान पर. मौका दे इस पंची को भी आसमान में उड़ने का. With no other option left, Madam agreed to all the terms because she wanted to follow her passion. Only after a year into her MSc. Kamla had proved her worth to director Sam. She C V Raman who not only allowed to stay 
on as a student but also quoted that iisc should be for women researchers only what a landmark she left and thus from her entry she paved path for women in iisc bangalore she graduated with distinction from iisc in biochemistry in 1936 After this journey, उन्होंने सात समुंदर पार का भी एक सफर तय किया. She was then invited to UK's Cambridge University to work under Dr. Derek Christer, and there she completed her thesis in just 14 months and submitted a thesis, which is remembered today also, of just 40 pages, a departure from usually much longer PhD submission. After receiving PhD, she returned to India in 1939. as she wanted to contribute to nationalist struggle being follower of mahatma gandhi she married mv sohani an actuary in 1945 and moved to mumbai where she joined royal institute of science as professor in department of biochemistry the then president of india rajendra prasad the then president of india rajendra prasad suggested her to work on meera pune ke logo ko pata hoga what is meera it is a sap extracted from toddy palms whose out findings were that it is good for malnourished adolescent children and pregnant women she was also awarded with rashtrapati award for her amazing work and research in this subject so here we come to an end of marvelous journey of first phd holder woman in india really wow in spite of all odds she could create an impact and footprints of her satyagraha इन आईआईसी बैंगलोर दोस्तों ऐसा कहा जाता है कि कुछ दिन से चाहो सच्चे मन से चाहो तो सारी कायनात उसे पूरा करने में लग जाती है मैंने इसका अनुभव किया है वेन माई प्रोफेसर इंट्रोड्यूस दिस लेडी टू मी इन 1999 एट दैट टाइम आई फेल्ट आई शुड सी आईआईसी एंड हर वर्क एंड रियली इन 2004 अंडर वन एन ट्रिपल ई पी दैट इज नेशनल अर्थक्वेक इंजीनियरिंग एजुकेशन प्रोग्राम वेन आई वॉज लेक्चर I got an opportunity to see her work in IISC Bangalore. Isliye believe in self and have faith. Tomorrow meet you again with another new woman. Till then keep smiling, be happy. Bye bye.